Hey guys and girls, my name is Alan and welcome to this gameplay commentary. As you can see, today is the turn of Black Ops 3. Uh, what you're about to watch is a quick TDM on the map Fringe and I'll be using the Dragon, which is one of the sniper rifles, the first one as it happens. Uh, so the Dragon is quite a good weapon. Uh, I mean, I'm not the best sniper in the world, but I can, you know, I can hit a few shots every now and then. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm a very conservative um, old school sniper, you know, like I... I like to pick a vantage point, you know, somewhere where I can see most of the map and then just pick off enemies. So the Dragon is a semi-automatic, it's got a decent rate of fire, decent clip, and I think they expect you to sort of spam the trigger, which is why they've designed it how they've designed it. Uh, the scope is okay. Um, I think that's a, is that the default scope? I can't remember. I think it might be the default scope. In which case, it's not, well, uh, it's not a particularly high zoom scope. Because again, I think they expect us to use it in sort of mid to, to short range rather than long long range across the map sort of thing. Because uh, the thing about this weapon is you can't get one hit kills unless you land them in the head. So it's a two hit to the body, two hit to the arms, legs, that sort of thing. Uh, but if you land one in the head, it is a one hit kill. I don't know if a silencer makes it a two hit kill to the head or not. I think it might just be a one hit kill. Um, so it's quite a good weapon um, and you can actually put red dot sight on it so some people actually use it as like a semi-automatic assault rifle uh, which in some cases is actually better than the, the Shiva because the Shiva has a fire rate cap whereas the Dragon I do I believe does not. Um, the only thing is the Shiva doesn't have idle sway because it's an assault rifle whereas the Dragon would have idle sway because it's a sniper rifle. So you know pros and cons to both weapons but um, I've seen people do really well with the Dragon with an RDS and I've tried it myself once or twice and you'll probably see a couple of matches in the future where I do yeah, quite well with it anyway. Um, but anyway, so down to today's topic, just a quick one as I said. Um, so the big topics from last week, uh, the week before, uh, well there was that story about uh, CSGO Lotto, I don't know if you've heard about it yet, you probably have, it's been, it's been pretty big news, at least in the gaming world anyway. So T Martin and Syndicate who own uh, two big channels on YouTube, I've heard of them. I don't really follow their videos but I've heard of them. Um, so apparently they were promoting a website called CSGO Lotto and it turns out that they actually own the website and they never disclosed this. They claim it wasn't a secret um, but I don't know, it's just apparently there's some legal ramifications from not disclosing that to your public or something, especially especially when money's concerned and it is it the site does make money. Um and they they sort of make videos showing themselves making money from using the site, so they're sort of promoting it um as well as gaining profit from the promotion that they're doing. So I mean I, I don't know what the I I'm, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know how bad this is, but apparently it's quite it's quite illegal in America anyway. Um but just from a personal point of view, I think it's a little bit shady to say the least. Um, I mean, they've both got massive followings on YouTube, right? And and they still they still feel the need to not necessarily trick people into using the site, but obviously when people when when their viewer base watches these videos and think, oh wow, this this guy's making you know a bit of money off this site, maybe I should do the same. I mean, I understand that not everyone watching those videos was immediately jumping on the website and gambling and or or playing lotto or whatever the hell they, they're calling it um, but you know they've got quite a young audience base between them right uh, I mean YouTube caters to that sort of teen market they're quite young they're quite impressionable uh, and you know on, on another side of the table you could argue that these two YouTubers because they've got such a big following and you know they they, they are like role models I guess you could call that um, they have like a, a responsibility a duty to not mislead uh, or to some people are throwing the word scam around, I don't think it's a scam, no one's, it wasn't like they were taking the money and robbing them or anything like that, but um, it's just the way that they're conducting their business, you know, not, not being open about it, not being honest about it. Um, they may not have, you know, tried to keep it a secret, but they, they didn't openly say, look, we own the site, we do make money from it, um, if you are using it, you are going to be filling our pockets. You know, maybe if they had been from the start, um, maybe I don't know I, I don't know the reasons for uh, for not saying anything from the start but it certainly looks bad now that they've kept it quiet sort of thing I mean as I said earlier I'm not a lawyer and I'm not across all the details of this case and I'm certainly not up to date on like laws and legislations when it comes to running or owning or promoting sites like these but just from a personal point of view it just seems a bit shady um, and especially when they put up so many videos about it as well and they had access to like, the back end of the website and stuff um, whether or not they had any direct access to it you know I, we, I don't know but there's always going to be that doubt now isn't there so how do we know that the results weren't fake you know that's just food for thought there boys and girls um, anyway the match is coming to an end soon as you can see we're about to lose 
unless I make an absolute amazing comeback. But judging from the time of the video, probably not, right? <laughs> um, and you'll see why we lose in a minute. But I don't know, it's just, it's just one of those games where I do quite well, but the team sort of lets me down. So yeah, 57-75, I go 18-3, and three. the rest of the team go either negative or well, the, the guy above me went alright, 1.5, and then everyone else went ridiculously negative, and then a couple of rage quitters as well, which obviously didn't help the situation, but anyway, if you've got any thoughts you'd like to share with me regarding your personal thoughts on this story, then let me know in the comment section below, uh, if you enjoyed the video, consider tapping that like button, I really do appreciate it, and until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care, and I will see you later.